a quarter mile, turn right onto River Crossing Drive. All right, I just got here to River Crossing. So here's the house from the front, you know, a little bit of a view of the streetscape. So it is on a corner lot. You, know, you have a little intersection here within the community. Nice thing about this one, newer roof, newer siding, newer windows. So all, you know, the outside, all the main components have been redone. You've also got some attic vents up there that look like they're solar powered. I see a couple of those up on the roof. All right, so as you come in the front door, you've got a you know, foyer area here, then you know more of a formal living dining area off to the side here with a sliding glass door that looks out to the pool. Kind of a little bay window style bump out there in the front. straight back into the kitchen and family room area. So this, this room back here is a little tight, obviously. I think the, the best way to open this up would be to kind of open this wall up a little bit so that this kitchen feels a little bit more open to the, uh, to the, the bigger living dining area over there. Kitchen is really nice though. They, they did a good job with, you know, the nice commercial style gas range, a Bosch dishwasher. Um, it is a core, well, like a quartz granite type top. It's hard to tell if it's granite or quartz. It looks like maybe a granite. Under cabinet lighting. Do you have the old popcorn ceilings? I don't know if you can see that in the video or not but that's something that, you know, could easily be redone, scraped. Now off the kitchen, you got the laundry. So in the laundry, you got the AC, um, as well as the hot water heater. And then this goes out to the garage. They do have a couple, they, they must have had part of this finished at some point because they've got a couple wing walls that have been cut out there. So they had this room closed off at some point. You can see where the wall went through there. So to truly open it back up to a full two car, you'd want to get rid of this little wing wall here and that little wing wall there. Pull down stairs for the uh, attic storage. And there is a door going out to the side of the house there. A little pantry closet right there. So back here you've got a full bath which also has a door going out to the pool. And then three bedrooms. First bedroom is the smallest of all three.
And then the opposite side of the house, you've got the owner suite. Good size room. Another sliding glass door overlooking the pool area. walk-in closet. And there's also an attic access inside that closet. Pool looks like it's in really good shape. Obviously, the pool is not very old. You can tell. Yeah, you know, it's got a, a little fading on the finish, but it, it doesn't. I don't see any you know cracks or anything like that on the pool finish. So you definitely got some some time left on that. Pavers all look like they're in good shape. Yeah, the landscaping could use cleaned up a little bit. It's the hot tub. So there's your pool equipment there. You, you do have a fully fenced yard. There's your uh, gas tank, your propane tank for the gas um, range. And there's another gate over on that side of the house as well. The other thing I wanted to point out is the rest of the house has vinyl siding. It's been replaced. Back here in the back by the pool, you've got wood siding. So, I mean, to make everything match, obviously, this could easily be painted back here. Siding back here looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, but, you know, obviously the red kind of clashes with the rest of the color that they have on the rest of the house, so, but easy fix.